Hi everyone, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I have my friend Sabrina here and she is going to be sharing her two birth stories which are so cool. I personally love hearing birth stories, it's like one of my favorite things. known each other for years we kind of basically grew up together basically yeah. I mean you guys like lived with us for a while like we were all oh yeah really we did close. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's crazy I kind of forgotten about that I know I was like thinking back when I was preparing to do this interview I was like man we've done a lot of cool things mm -hmm. yeah fun. yeah and we have two kids that are right about the same ages my yeah. daughter and her son are like two months apart and my son and her daughter are about are about a month apart which is pretty cool two months but two yeah months, mm -hmm. yeah yeah but really close which is so fun <laughs> and they all get along so well which is cute so I'm gonna have Sabrina introduce herself real quick and tell us a little bit about her family and what she does and her interests and so yeah all right hi guys I'm Sabrina Van Kirk and my I have two kids as I've said before or as we talked about yeah and um, I have a two-year-old and a oh my goodness she's she'll be six months next tomorrow so oh, wow crazy but um, I my husband is Josiah and well, I have a YouTube video, uh, YouTube channel on mothering, um, homesteading, homemaking, and um, very similar to mine. Yeah, it's like a lifestyle channel, and um, so that's what I do. And um, yeah, it's kind of our family. And that's that's me. Will you share a little bit for the listeners about your first pregnancy? How did it go? Sure. So um, with my first pregnancy, let's see, we got married when I was 20, 19, and then three months later. I got pregnant, <laughs> so I was pregnant at, I was pregnant at 19. Yeah, it's actually kind of funny, but it's really young. Yeah, <laughs> so I was a really young bride and young mother. But um, I got pregnant at 19, three months after we were married. We actually didn't plan on having kids um, right off the bat, but ended up where my sister-in-law got pregnant, and I just really, really wanted a baby after that. <laughs> so we decided instead of waiting six months, we waited just three months. And so I got pregnant, and then we did end up finding, then did end up finding out the gender. Um, we have a little, had a little boy, and that's my first uh, son or my firstborn, and his name is Judah. Uh, let's see, what else did you want to know about my pregnancy? Just um, did you have like kind of normal oh, pregnancy yeah. symptoms? Or how it's so um, my pregnancy symptoms with my son were actually fairly mild. Um, I didn't, I got sick, I really didn't get sick, honestly, um, which was nice, uh, it was <laughs> really nice. nice. Um, I was a little queasy in the mornings, and if I didn't eat some sort of something right. in the morning, then, oh, yeah, that was not good. But yeah. for the rest of the day, I was, for the most part, I felt great. I loved being pregnant, I felt so good and energetic, um, but I will say that after like the first month, then I started getting tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really, makes you pretty tired. <laughs> really worn out and just like, oh wow, I'm pregnant. Okay, yeah. this, this is more normal symptoms. Right. Yeah. And so yeah, but it was a pretty mild pregnancy. That's good. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't. There wasn't anything major with him. Oh, so. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Well, do you want to get into his birth story? I'm I'm excited to hear it. Sure. Yeah. So let's see here. I was, now I gotta remember how many weeks I was when I had him. I mean, it's Along. been a while since he was born. I know, it's two years. Remember back. <laughs> it is. Um, so he was born at 41 weeks to the day. So he and, oh boy, this um, birth story is probably the hardest birth story I've had yet. I only yeah. have two kids, but still. We had quite a few twists and turns. And yeah, it was. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. And for all you moms out there who think birth is going to be um, exactly as you expect it to be, it never goes, it never goes according to plan. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so I think we, oh, let's see, I was, yeah, 30, I was almost 41 weeks. So I was 40 weeks and six days. And I started having contractions um, that night. And it was Sunday night. And I'm trying to think, I had a couple like mild contractions a couple days before, and um, but they just weren't really doing anything. And then, so the night before he was born, um, I really started, or no, it was three nights. Oh, let me correct myself. Three nights before he was born, 
every night consecutively, I would have, uh, pre how do you say that? Padromal. Padromal labor. Oh, that's so annoying. For three days. It was awful. <laughs> and yeah. I mean, my poor husband, he's just like sitting there, honey, it's okay, and rubbing my back. And it's like, it's very not emotional. Okay. It's very emotional yeah. to think you're going to labor and then not. I mean, I, I had a lot of prodromal labor with my, right. my last birth. I had three weeks of it. It was like, I thought I was going to go crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And yeah. it was just intense. And I was like, okay, honey, today is the day. We're going to have this baby. Okay. Yeah. yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, the third night, or no, the second night, I actually, it was so intense that I called my mom in the middle of the night, and she at the time was living in Coeur d'Alene, so that's why we had to call her ahead of time. So, and um, while all this is going on, we actually live in the basement of my in-law's house um, due to unforeseen things that happened um, in our life, but we were living with my in-laws, and so um, so just kind of let you know that, but they were, um, so my mom finally arrived, it was, oh gosh, it must have been 3 a.m., and, oh, I was so disappointed because as soon as she got there, my contraction stopped. Oh, that sucks. And I'm like, oh. And then, like, the pressure's on, like. Yes, everyone's there waiting on you, oh, and yeah, you're like. that's stressful. Okay, guys, nothing's happening. And I can't really force this to happen. <laughs> oh, so anyway. Uh, so the next day, you know, approaches, we got some sleep, and my mom's here, and I'm like, shoot, hopefully this baby comes, because <laughs> she's going to have to go back, and yeah. what if, you know, what if, what if, what if, that runs through your head a lot. Mm -hmm. And so I ended up where, um, I think it was, yep, it was that night, so we had had dinner, my mom went to go visit some family that, uh, we have most of our family lives here, so she was visiting them. And I had just had, it was Sunday, and I had just had dinner. And Josiah was actually sleeping downstairs, <laughs> um, but, or watching a movie maybe or something. And I was eating dinner with my in-laws upstairs. All of a sudden I'm like, okay, Cammy, Cammy, my, my mother-in-law, oh, these contractions, they're getting really close together. And so my in-laws are timing them for me, <laughs> and I'm like, you know, breathing and I'm like okay maybe I should go downstairs um and some of this is blocked out I don't know why but like I can't I remember what happened after then it's kind of a weird thing with birth that you like get in such a different headspace yeah. that some, like some things are like so vivid in your memory and right. some things it was just like hours of time that can just like be gone yeah and so it's like, like really strange I don't remember what happened I've got this chunk of space that's just I have I don't remember what happened with those last few hours but I think what happened is I went downstairs and had eaten and everything and my contractions oh I remember now <laughs> it comes to you it does come to you um, I was the contractions had kind of slowed down a little bit after I got downstairs and I had laundry to do so I went and I was just I was like mad woman I folded laundry I cleaned I vacuumed you name it I was Nesting. doing it Nesting. That I was making sure the pool was full, or not full, but aired yeah, up because right. I had a um, birth pool. And oh boy, <laughs> so I was just going here it's and there. It's funny how women do that, where you're like in labor, you're like, yeah, you should be resting. You're like, but no, I, I have to like clean the baseboards and the ceiling. Yes, and, like I have to do that because this will be the last chance ever. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Yeah, it is funny, but then again, like that mothering instinct yeah, just kicks in, and you're ready to mm -hmm. get in here. <laughs> But I folded all the clothes, and that at that point I was like, oh, okay. And Josiah's sitting on the bed helping me, kind of. And um, he were actually watching Friends because that was a I don't know why, but we really liked Friends during my pregnancy with Judah. And I was actually in labor when we were watching it. Oh, that's funny. So kind of funny. But um, so yeah, I went. I ended up um, folding a bunch of clothes, and oh boy, those contractions started. And then oh boy, ugh, it was just it was crazy. Um, I started to feel shaky, and okay. I'm like, okay, <laughs> calm down, like, yeah. so I called my midwife, and I told her the contractions, and then I ended up losing my mucus plug, maybe TMI, but hey. Nope, we do all the TMI <laughs> stuff on this channel, so that's all good. <laughs> that's good. Um, and I lost that, and I was like, oh boy, like, okay. Yeah, that's, oh. that's real. Yeah, that's, this is, this is different, and so my midwife, I, my midwife was like, okay, so you've done that. Your contractions are close. All these signs are pointing to, okay, do you want me to come or do you 
wanting to still labor a little bit. I said, it's my first child, so I was like, just come. Like, you know, yeah. I, I could use <laughs> some moral support. Some moral support. <laughs> so I called mom and everybody got there. By the time they got there, I was shivering and shaking. And you know that, it's like that intense feeling once you, because these contractions by now were hurting. Yeah. And I was like, oh boy. And Desai's holding me and I'm eating snacks and trying to calm down, drink water. Yeah. So anyway, ended up where I don't even know, it's like five hours after everything had kind of kicked in. And my midwife is starting to say, okay, you're progressing a little bit. And the birth pool, um, they made sure it was all ready. They filled it up. And um, did your midwife check you? At all she stuff? did not, actually, okay. um, which I was a little surprised, but I think she just didn't want to push and you know prod kind of let me do my thing yeah. which my midwife is super relaxed she is. it is really nice mine is too yeah you've had great birth experiences too with yeah. yours and i yeah. mean it's Midwives just so are important awesome. mm -hmm. they are it, it's so easy after that uh, i'm trying to think um yeah so they were filling the water yeah. the pool up with water and actually ended up where we ran out of hot water so um they ended up filling up hot tubs of water, <laughs> or, you know, from the stove, and so, pots of water. And so we did that, I was, and then I ended up getting in the tub early. Now, I would let, like to say, don't make the mistake I did and just get in, because we didn't know how far along I was, um, and we probably should have checked, but we didn't, and so I ended up getting in the pool. Um, that ended up where the contractions were super extreme when I got in, mm -hmm. and ended up being less and less as I like slowed your labor yes. down. Yeah. You know, see, when so, I had my birth, my midwife wouldn't let me get in the pool until yeah. I was to a certain point, and I remember being so mad at her, it, like in labor. But now I'm like, okay, thank you for doing that. I understand now. <laughs> and that's something I wish my midwife had said, but I think she was really to the point where she wasn't sure. Like I was in a lot of pain, not yeah. pain, pain, but you know, enough. Yeah. And she was just like, you know, go ahead and get in the water. If you think you want to get in the water, get in the water. Mm -hmm. I didn't, that did not work. Yeah. Um, that slowed it down and my son had turned instead of facing the way you're supposed to when you come out, he was sunny side up. Oh, posterior. So posterior. Yeah. And so that is why, so it ended up, I got out. I was in so much pain, I was shaking, had to take all the wet clothes off. Oh, that's, that's terrible. It was awful. And I'm like, I can't move. Like, don't yeah. touch me. Oh. Um, so I did, and I wasn't progressing. It didn't matter what we tried. She gave me herbs to kind of put contractions on top of each other so that I would dilate. I wasn't dilating. Mm -hmm. So... But the herbs were still making the contractions. Yeah, painful. and they were probably helping in somewhat, but yeah. yeah. At, at one point, I literally got on the floor and started pushing. Oh, wow. And, um... She's like, you know, I really think you need to go on the bed so I can check you. Yeah. And so she checked me and she says, oh, hun, like, you are not there yet. Oh, and remember my where you were? Yeah. Like, like, how many centimeters? I was like five, I think. Oh, wow. And, and so. And feeling the urge to push. Yes. Man. So it was something literally stopping me from progressing. That's and so weird. actually my midwife's like, what's going on? You know, we really need to figure this out. So that's why she gave me the herbs to try to make me, you know. And so she's like, honey, I know you don't want to but I want you to walk around, have your husband help you. I walked up the stairs, terrible idea. I ended up throwing up and oh. doing some other things, it was just awful. And then going <laughs> on the way down, uh, it was awful. So finally I got to the point where I was screaming bloody murder. My poor father-in-law was, was, was so freaked out. But I was screaming and hollering, and that's the short condensed version because it went on for a while. Yeah. This way. And so my husband said, honey, do we need to go to the hospital? And I'm like, no, I do not want to go to the hospital. I did not want to go to the hospital. Yeah, well, it ended up where I was like, okay, this is just done. I'm done. Let's go yeah. to the hospital. Um, and so we're going to go there to get an epidural, I think, so that so I can just rest a little bit, rest. relax, so you can dilate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so we went ahead with it, and I screamed the whole way there. Car rides. I've heard the worst things about car rides while you're They're in labor. Awful. They're scary. I am, like, so grateful that I've never had to experience <laughs> that because I've just heard the worst stories about it. It is. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm trying to get dressed, too. Um, I mean, I had some clothes on, 
But when you're in labor, you know, very little Well, and like, you, on, you so. don't even care. I'm like, no. I would be like, I don't care. I'll go naked. <laughs> Put me in the car. Well, it was cold. Like, oh, Judah was born in October, so I couldn't just, true. you know, streak or... <laughs> no. Uh, I would have had someone put a robe on me if I had to. <laughs> but, no, so everything was mostly on, but I had to put shoes on. Mm. Which, well, you're pregnant, so, oh, like, yeah, that's you like know, that's, impossible. Like impossible. Right. And now you're in pain, so that's even worse. Right. So anyway, I went in, I got in, and my father-in-law brought the car down. I was just miserable, and I was squeezing, at one point I squeezed my mother's hand so tightly that she, f like, okay honey, you have to let go. Oh, yeah. And so, on the way there, I'm screaming, hollering, they finally get me in a wheelchair, scream all the way to the delivery room, and they finally set me on the bed, and you know, it takes them forever, because I gotta put an IV in, and then they've got to like... check you, then they have to check the baby's heartbeat, and I'm not trying to say that, you know, doctors can't hack can't do this or right. don't need to, yeah. but it's just one more step that annoys the heck out of a pregnant woman who is trying to have a baby. So like, if you can imagine trying to suppress the urge to push, it's yeah, impossible. That is... And I did that for three hours. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. So it was pretty terrible. <laughs> yeah. This part is terrible. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I mean, I enjoyed my experience, but whew. Yeah. Um, and so we're in the hospital, they gave me, instead of giving me the, um, that drug that Pitocin. they, the Pitocin. They actually ended up giving me fentanyl, and um, it's a lesser drug, and so it kind of helps just it, it helps you relax, and then you can, you're able to relax enough where your cervix dilates to the right oh, centimeters. Yeah. So, like, I imagine if they gave you know, pitocin, that would just kind of compound on the problem exactly, and make which it is worse. What they didn't want to do, and right. if that was the case, I probably would have had to go get a c-section which yeah. was not something I wanted to do yeah um so anyway uh she went ahead and the nurse gave me um the drug or maybe it wasn't the nurse but there were so many people in that room I was I didn't care at this point but there were a lot of people there. <laughs> yeah. um anyway so it took um uh, I don't know maybe 30 minutes for it to kick in uh the whole time it was like 40 minutes by the time I was ready to push but uh, it finally kicked in and they told me, you know, roll over and then get your legs spread out so you can, you know, <laughs> dilate. And the one thing, I mean, there's nothing they really could have done about it because it, they needed you to lay down and kind of put your feet in the stirrups so that they could just get this over with and help you right. along. So you weren't able to just walk around because I was in so much pain. It is so hard to I hold couldn't. still. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like... You just have this urge to move, mm -hmm. and it's like so hard to repress it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I kept apologizing and telling people, I'm so sorry, and they're like, you're fine. Like, it's yeah. okay. Like, you're in a you're lot the, of pain. You're the one in labor. Why are you apologizing? For some I, reason. I did that too. It was, it was funny. <laughs> I think it's weird, you know? But anyway, yeah. Um, so yeah, I was apologizing, screaming at the same time, and I almost had felt like I needed to throw up again, mm. but then I didn't, and as soon as she said, Okay, you can push. Mm. I was like, yes, thank oh. you, Lord. There was so much praying Such going early. on. Yeah. And anyway, I had my husband up by my head, consoling me, holding my hand, my mother in law over here, my mom over here, mm. and a nurse over here. I was oh, grabbing man. people, wow. freaking out. Yeah. But that was good because I was trying to push all that energy into pushing and reading yeah. down and really trying to get this kid out. <laughs> 20 minutes he was out um, oh man i had such a relief on my face yeah i mean it was amazing oh. and i cried so much <laughs> after he was born it was so emotional yeah but like just thinking about it now it makes me like teary-eyed yeah but um he he came out and i they they set him on my tummy and i looked at him and i was like Oh, hi, me. <laughs> I even have a video, and it's so awkward to look at sometimes. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, I sound so weird. But I, I sound I weird to myself in my birth video, too. Yeah, I don't know why. It's yeah. just, you know, it's something that, like, oh, I really sound like that. <laughs> but, well, after screaming for hours, I'm sure you sound different yeah. than normal. <laughs> So yeah. I saw him and I said, "Oh, honey, he's perfect." Yeah, and he screamed and screamed. But after yeah. that, he was born, and I was—it was good. It was—it was the best hospital experience because everybody was my friend. At the point. Yeah, because <laughs> I was like, "You guys yeah. gave me drugs. You guys gave, you saved me. You <laughs> saved me." Yeah. 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 So how long was his birth total? His birth was 17 hours. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh. It's long for what I went through. I know some women go through longer labors. Right. But a lot more of it is like early labor yeah. or active labor, not like trying not to push. So. Yeah. That's, that's my first one story. So, and then leading into getting pregnant with your second one, did you know you still wanted to have another home birth? Or what, what were your feelings about that after? I was even experience? more determined really? to have a birth experience at home. Um, and I had always dreamed about having a water birth, which didn't actually happen with my firstborn. So we even tried that with my second. Yeah. But um, yeah, I was very determined. Yeah, that's yeah. good. How did you find out that you were pregnant with baby number two? So, <laughs> kind of a funny story. We were traveling to uh, Washington, and my my uh, husband's grandparents lived there. And we went ahead, and we hadn't seen them. They hadn't met Judah, so we decided to go over there and visit them. And um, I had kind of realized that my cycles, my cycle hadn't come yet, and I was like. <clears throat> I wonder what that be all about, you know, sometimes. So you, you had gotten your period back yeah. then? Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. but I had only had like one real cycle. And so, oh, yeah, that's kind of like, I don't know if it yeah. went away again. And yeah, I, I mean, mine came back after right. Sophia and then it went away. I was like, oh, God, I'm pregnant again. <laughs> and the, but then it came back, it's like. Well, they're so weird once you have a kid. Like, I know. They're yeah. never, I mean, they get the same eventually, but. Yeah, for the first few months, yeah. it's like inconsistent and very different. Right. Yeah. So I wasn't even sure yeah. um, what to think, because I was like, I'm definitely not pregnant. <laughs> so anyway, uh, it was the end of our trip and um, where we had been there for a while and we were about ready to leave. Next day comes, we're leaving. And I was like, you know what? I'm pretty sure I should have had the period like right now. Yeah. Like this should be happening right now. Yeah. Or at least a week ago it should have been happening. So I was like, you know what? Just for the sake of it, I'm going to take pregnancy test <laughs> in their house. <gasps> Um, I was like, oh, I'm definitely not pregnant. And you know, we were not trying. This was something we're like, well, no, we want to wait a little bit longer. Judah hadn't even been a year yet. Yeah, he I remember you telling yeah. me you didn't want to get pregnant mm -hmm. again until he was a he year was, at least. He was almost 11 months. Yeah. And I was like, no. no. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I was pregnant by that point, and you were like, no, no, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. Well, in a month ago, I would have been pregnant and didn't know it. Right. Yeah, because I was a nun yeah, long when I true. found out. Yeah. And so I was like, no. <laughs> and I had her, anyway, long story short, I'm pregnant. Yeah. And I kept it to myself. I hid the pregnancy test in my purse and I took it in my, you know, these grandparents' bathroom. I was like, this is just weird. <laughs> I know it's not, but really, it kind of, yeah, it's just a little weird. <laughs> and so. I was so nervous. I was like, you know what? Okay, I'll just surprise Josiah. You know, I don't want to like tell him right off the bat and then be like, oh, we're not pregnant. So oh, yeah. I was like, you know what? No, I'll wait till I get home to take another one. And yeah, that didn't work. I was all the way home because it's hours. You know, Washington and Montana are close, but they're not that close. Mm -hmm. And so it took the whole ride there almost. And I was like, I can't. It's it just so. Can't. so I don't know hard. how some of you moms out there. Like plan this whole thing, this yeah. reveal of pregnancy for your husbands. Well, like I can't. Luke's always been there when I take the test. Okay, yeah. Like there is no like him not knowing at all. But even me telling other people, it's like so hard. I'm just like so excited. I'm like, there is no way I can keep this <laughs> a secret. No, it's, it's just, just too hard. hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I don't yeah. think I've actually heard that story. Yeah, I don't tell everybody because sometimes I try to tell everybody the condensed version. Yeah. Of like, oh yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, no. So nice. I was in the car and I just could not stand it. I was so nervous. <laughs> and I told Josiah, I said, "Here, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this." So I think I'm pregnant. Yeah. We might be pregnant. And he's like, "Wait, really? Like what? Yeah, <laughs> probably not even on his radar at all." No, but he yeah. was so excited. That's awesome. He was like so excited. He's like, "Honey, that's so cool." Yeah, yeah I'm like. I really wish I had your enthusiasm. And yeah. I felt really bad, but I did not want to be pregnant. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's kind of a weird thing, especially like when the first one's still so little, it's like very yeah. mixed feelings. Yeah. I, I mean yeah, I had that too. Like I'm excited but but not, not yeah. in the same well, there's a difference. Like, you're excited there's another baby. Right. But then you're like, well, I wasn't ready 
yet. Right. You know, like give me yeah. some time. Yeah. <laughs> um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Having a surprise baby it isn't. They're great. They're awesome. Mm -hmm. But it kind of does a little something to your brain that you just you feel you feel bad, but you also feel kind of frustrated. Yeah. And so for a good month or two, yeah, it was a month. I think. Yeah. Because after the first month of finding out, I was so excited. Nice. Yeah. So. Yeah, you get excited about it real fast. You do. Yeah. <laughs> and even like if you don't want to be pregnant and you think you are and you take a test and it's negative, you feel sad. Oh, it's very disappointing. Like even if you don't want to be pregnant. Yeah. It's real weird. It's funny yeah. how that works. <laughs> yeah. It's like reverse. Yeah. And then how did that pregnancy go? Was that different than your first one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very different. Which is why I thought it was a girl. Yeah. <laughs> um, very different. I was sick. A lot more. Yep. Mm -hmm. I felt queasy. Ugh. I've heard. The old wives' tales say that it's re reversed, that mm -hmm. you get more queasy with boys, but it's like, you never know. <laughs> no, I think it's just up to the mom. I had some more cravings early on. Like, I wanted donuts. <laughs> well, I want donuts all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like donuts. Really? And I don't like that ice cream. It's weird. I like ice cream, but not I, with my pregnancy with my first son. No. I did really? not want well, to have anything to do with ice cream. Yeah. But with funny. this baby, ice cream, donuts, and maybe that. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> and then coming up into the labor, how did you know you were in labor for the second one? Good question. Um, so yeah. I had had some epidermal labor the night before. Okay. Really bad. And um, did you have bags and picks with your both mm -hmm. your kids? Yes. Okay. Early on. Okay. Um, and so, but like with her, it was kind of weird because I thought I had epidermal labor several weeks before mm -hmm. or not several weeks but a couple weeks before and i don't think it really was that i think it was more just wraps and hicks oh, but they were more intense yeah and so leading up to that um the first day oh, she was four days overdue um which is great because yeah. judah was a week late and i was not late they're on time yeah but for me it was late yeah i was wanting it to be done <laughs> no it's like like, even if you enjoy being pregnant, it's like, okay, I'm, I'm done. massive. I just want this baby to be here. <laughs> I want to hold the child. I know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I had some pedromal labor, and I actually had the midwife come um, that morning, and okay. she was here. Um, she was there. We had a little apartment that we were in, very tiny. Um, okay. It was like, I don't so know. you had moved from your in-laws' basement. Yeah, and we had been there for almost a year. Okay. Like you're actually on the date because. Um, oh. May, well, close because May yeah. was her due date, oh, and wow. we had moved in May. Wow, that's crazy. Here. So yeah, um, but yeah, I had the pool take up the whole thing. Oh yeah, uh, that would be which we didn't there. fill because we're like, okay, we're not gonna do the same mistake last time, so we didn't fill mm -hmm. it up. Yeah. Um, but anyway, we, um, I was, I felt I was in labor probably. Well, when my midwife left, I was pretty down. So did she, it ended she up check, where she had checked you and no, she didn't check me. I just okay. stopped. Oh. So yeah, I like had a contraction, and they were bad contractions, mind you. Like oh. I had to stop. Yeah. They were they were real contractions. Yeah. But it wasn't real labor. Oh. And so, like for I don't know, an hour and a half, maybe two hours straight, I had like labor pain. Mm. But then it stopped. When the midwife got there. Um. Probably like half hour after she got there. Oh. Yeah. So that was really discouraging. You get, you get stage fright when you're in labor. <laughs> yeah, apparently. We went on walks, tried everything. So my midwife's like, well, I have a feeling it'll be either today or, you know, tomorrow. Yeah. And so, sure enough, um, hours go by. And my, my uh, mother-in-law had already taken Judah oh, the night. Yeah, uh, you know, the night I thought it was going to have yeah, Isla. So he was even there, which is good because we were able to do our own thing and you know, not make. I didn't want to worry him or anything because I didn't know if I was going to scream or what. Yeah. So yeah, I was a little concerned know. about that too. Like, I really hope I have the baby at night because yeah. then she can just be sleeping. Right. The That's cool. Hear that. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. So they actually ended up. Hannah, my sister-in-law, took Judah that next night um, just because we were so worn out. Mm -hmm. yeah. We hadn't gotten any sleep. And so um, I went ahead and go, went to bed, couldn't go to sleep, and my contractions started kicking back up. Mm -hmm. And every time I went to sleep, I'd wake up 
rhythmic contraction. Rhythmic contraction. Yeah. yeah. Figures. <laughs> so I go ahead. I went ahead and I got up. I was like, I can't do this, you know. Um, yeah. But I didn't want to wake Josiah up because yeah. I'm like, I don't want him to wake up and then be like, oh, this is nothing. Right. I know. And I, oh, it was so hard. So I took a bath, tried to calm, you know, calm things down. Yeah. But it didn't work. Yeah. Um. And so it kind of worked. So I went back to bed. Couldn't. I, I was in and out of bed. I swear, several yeah. times that night. <laughs> Poor Josiah. Um, <laughs> and so, um, I think, yeah, I went out to the living room and I had my little calculator, oh. my contraction <laughs> counter. Nice. And I was breathing through my contraction and I was like, okay, I'm done. I, this is real. Like, it yeah. started hurting yeah. so bad. Yeah. And I was just breathing. I was like, okay, honey, <laughs> this is the real thing. Yeah. Now everything was ready and set out for the birth already because oh, the night before we thought we were actually having the baby. Right, yeah. So everything was ready. Yeah, well, that's, was, that's handy. Yeah, <laughs> so I was bouncing on my ball and going around, walking around, trying to breathe through my contractions. It was quite relaxing, actually. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> and I woke Josiah up said, okay, honey, I think it's time. You know, I'm I'm pretty miserable. Yeah. And um, I told the midwife, she's like, okay, I'll be there. And you had the same midwife with yes, this one as the first one? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's yeah. Good. She's awesome. Like, yeah. I would totally recommend her for anybody. Nice. Um, so yeah, she, she arrived and I was in a lot of pain. Yeah. My mom then arrived and everything was just... And my mom now lived, well no, she was still in, yeah, no, she was still in Idaho. So she had come, she had come early just because she's like, you know. Don't want to miss yeah, this. Yeah, don't want to miss it. Second births are faster. So she was Usually, here. yeah, well, that's good. So she came and then, um, yeah, and it, <laughs> it progressed from there. Um, she actually didn't end up checking me again. My um, midwife is very relaxed about things. So she's yeah. just like, you know, if you're feeling it, you know. And you can kind of tell it's hard with your firstborn. You just it's like have just, no idea what's yeah. going on with your first. The second so, is like a little easier. Like, it okay, is. I have experienced this before. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so I had all the signs that I was progressing fine. Yeah. So, um, and this time we waited to get in the water and until so I was at like peak. So we got in there and of course they didn't think about this. It was cold on one side and hot on the other. Why was it like that? They had apparently not thought about the water. I don't know. They were trying to help me, and then some of the hot water. Most of it was hot water, and then there's patches of cold. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and because it was already filling up with cold water. water. Oh dear. And so I couldn't get in. I was miserable. Yeah. I hate this. Oh no. That's so terrible. I just. <sighs> yeah. So. Yeah. Lots of uh, failed water birth experiences. Unfortunately. With the both of us. Yeah, you didn't get him either. Like, yeah, I tried to do it with my first, and then the cat popped her. Oh, well, that's hole. right. Like, and then it was gonna like spill out into this whole room, and they were like running back and forth <laughs> trying to bail water. And with the second one, I didn't even attempt it. I was like still upset about that. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently, we are not destined for water births. Apparently not. I guess I'm actually just telling you my birth story. You didn't really ask that. But... Oh yeah, you can get right into it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, end of it really. Um, but. Uh, yeah, I got in the water and it was cold and hot and so she's like, well, I don't want the baby born in cold and hot water. Yeah. So, pleasant. no, they <laughs> heated water up on the stove and then finally some of the hot, the hot water heater had kicked back in and so I was able to get in and it was nice and comforting. I was, I moved all over like yeah. the pool and um, I was push, I'm not pushing quite, but I was, I was almost there. Yeah. Um, and before I got in, I was... I was trying to push, kind of, just to see what it would do, and yeah. um, nothing really happened. So we went in, and um, I got in, and everybody was just kind of helping me out, rubbing my back. Um, and so we go. I went ahead. I was in there. I was actually laid back in a pushing position, mm. and was trying to push, but it felt like I was pushing against a wall. Oh. Kind of like I was pushing really hard and working at it, but nothing came. Right. And so my midwife's like, gosh, Sabrina, like, maybe you're just going to be like this. <laughs> oh, no. Her, no. She didn't tell me that while I was yeah. in labor. Well, that's, that's, a good, that's a good thing. <laughs> um, so she went ahead and checked me in the water. And um, I had a cervical lip. Oh, those are fun. <laughs> Which, I, she's like, you know, apparently it's just something with your cervix. So you just got to make sure you're yeah, right I mean, on schedule. I have a cervical lip with Sophia, too. Yeah. yeah just. Not very fun. No. Yeah. Well, and then my midwife tells me while I'm pushing, 
okay, honey, now you're gonna have to get up out of the pool. Uh, no. I'm like, why would yeah, and you're right. Why would you my, tell me that? No. <laughs> yeah. My first inclination was, no, I'm not getting out. You can't make me. You can't make me. Yeah, I was, it was funny because with Judah, I was like, I don't care, do something to me. Yeah. yeah. But with her, I was like, no, I'm staying here. Yeah. And I didn't. I had the, my husband came beside, beside me and he's like, okay, honey, you need to listen to the man. Yeah. No. And no. I wasn't like mean. I just was like, I can't, I can't, yeah. I can't do it. I can't. He's like, yes, you can. Yes, you can. I was so insistent that I couldn't do it, but I was getting one leg up after the other out of the pool, which was really hard, but, and I was pretty upset all the way to the bathroom. And so she sat me on the toilet and told me that I needed to um, go to the bathroom and kind of try to take some pressure, mm -hmm. which was awful. Yeah. Because, yeah. Yeah, not, not fun to sit on the toilet when you're in labor, I don't know yeah. what it is. It's just like very intense. Yeah. I don't know if it has something to do with that when you normally sit on the toilet, you're pushing. I guess. Or something. I don't know. But it, a lot of people say it can help. Like it's a position that feels better. Yeah. But for me, it hurts like way worse than worse. sitting yeah. anywhere else. It's like very weird. It was, <laughs> it was awful. <clears throat> anyway, but the um, midwife, because we had had, it was starting to sound or feel like more um, like Judas birth. Mm -hmm. Like oh, it wasn't, you know, I had a lip and it wasn't progressing like I wish it had. <clears throat> Phil didn't he know that I was already progressing. Um, but she had called um, another midwife down the road um, and had said that was blessed, asking if she had oh, yeah. um, <laughs> herbs oh, okay. that would, you know, help me just... Um, like similar herbs to the ones she Kind of, but time. just different. She's okay. like, um, she said, this midwife has some herbs and maybe even just she can come and give me just sometimes a new pair of eyes help in a situation and so she's like maybe if I just get another midwife here we can both work on what's going on yeah and so <clears throat> and by this time I was already like ready to cry because I'm like I do not want to go to the hospital again no yeah. and so um I was on the toilet and I was I'm like oh oh like ow oh, you know you, yeah. that feeling of okay yeah. I either have to push or something <laughs> yeah. and I could already feel I think at that point I had felt some crowning, mm. but I wasn't sure. Because before then, we also, before all this, I thought my water bro broke. Oh. And apparently it wasn't, it was the outer sack. Oh, interesting. That is really so, weird how it's yeah. got that outer sack. And that, and that was like an hour or two before this even happened. Yeah. And so we were like, okay, well eventually. That's why I was already pushing. She's like, the water broke. I mean, mm. you can push and not have your water broke. Right, yeah. That's totally fine. But yeah. like, she was like, okay, I mean, well your water broke. So. harder. I think it's like, mm -hmm. yeah, it, <clears> which like, is why. It's less painful, but yeah. you know, it progresses fast. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, so that's so why they break, break your water to, like, make you progress. Oh, but, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, like, doesn't that, like, that made sense then, because my water hadn't broken yet. Right, yeah. And so, no wonder I felt like I was pushing against the wall. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> like, in the water. I was. Like, there was, it hadn't broken yet. And yeah. so, it kind of. And so, I was on the toilet, and so my husband's like, okay, honey, you have to get off the toilet. Yeah. The midwife needs you to get off. The baby doesn't want to be born into the toilet. No, I was already in the point where I was yelling a little bit, and I was like, oh, I can't do this. Like, yeah. what the heck? Yeah. And she's like, get off the toilet. Get your, get your wife off the toilet so that yeah. she doesn't have the baby in there. Yeah. And so I got off with great difficulty. Yeah. And I just turned over, kind of, from the toilet and squatted down with my hands on top of the um, countertop in the bathroom mm -hmm. okay. next to the sink. And um, <laughs> so I did. And at that moment I was like, she, like she's coming. Yeah. And I was in squat, I was squatting down and I'm like, oh, ow, like that's yeah. crowning. And yeah. so I started pushing and like, uh, mm, you know, like that grunt down. You don't have an ejection reflex. It's like very intense. It is. It's crazy. And so I was so intense, like thinking about it, it just makes me like, yeah. <laughs> it, like you can definitely like, I don't know if it's like such an intense experience that like if you think about it, it just like brings back the same feeling. Yeah, like, You can does. almost like feel it in your, in your pelvis and back and stomach. It's like burned in your memory forever. Not weird, but <laughs> we also like forget, forget the pain part. Right, yeah. 
Yeah. Which, I don't remember how painful it was. I don't. I remember Jimmy's birth, but not really Sophia's. Probably as it gets That's farther away, it'll fade a little bit. So, yeah, I ended up pushing, and midwife's looking down. She's like, okay, well, let me get in there yeah. and do my thing. <laughs> and um, so, I was. it was so hard because Josiah had to end up grabbing me mm. and holding me up. Oh, wow. I felt so bad for him because, you know, pregnant women are just heavy. <laughs> and um, yeah. we have a lot going on and there's a lot of weight that's extra. I mean, yeah. I give it to my husband who's yeah. brave and strong. <laughs> Luke he, basically held me up for my second birth too. That's right. I don't know what it is about second births, but ours is fairly, yeah. I mean, we have a lot of differences, but some very, some very crazy similarities. Yeah. yeah. And um, so, yeah, I think it ended up where I, he held me up and I was squatting, but also leaning on him, and the midwife is like looking at the head come in, mm -hmm. and and I was I had I hadn't done this with my firstborn because I was oh, I didn't really want to, yeah. and so by this time I actually went down there and felt, and it felt like rubber, yes. and I'm like Very strange. This isn't it's not it. It wasn't his head. It was oh, okay. the sack. Oh weird. And it was it was so weird. It was like this yeah. rubbery feeling, and I'm like oh that. That's com that's that's the head. Yeah. And she's like, oh, oh, your water's not broken. <laughs> and she's like, you want me to break your water? I was yeah. like, yes, please. Yeah, that'll help. And things. so <clears throat> she actually, I don't know, I don't remember if she broke the water or it just broke mm -hmm. at that point. Yeah. But within a couple seconds, there she comes. Oh, and there's her yeah. head. I'm yeah. like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and then she's like, okay, I don't care if you don't have a contraction. You push that baby out because the shoulders are stuck. Uh -oh. Not stuck in a bad way, but that point where right. you better push. Yeah. Push and out she came. Oh my. And I just saw her face and I was like, oh, oh my gosh. And um, yes. we had found out the gender too, so we knew it was a girl. Yeah. And so I have her in my arms, and I'm a little taken aback. Like, so, so did you you catch her, or did you I? Her? I think I think I caught her. I'm yeah. trying to remember exactly. Yeah. It was so fast. She might have kind of caught her and handed her to me, but my hands were always on her. Right. Yeah. Essentially, and so I picked her up and put her against me and kind of leaned, and then just I was like, okay, I need to let go. <laughs> um, by that time, he he had I think said, okay, we need to. You need to sit down, and um, I had the baby in my arms. And she she wasn't crying like I so I'm like freaking out. Um, she was fine. I just yeah. was freaking out, and yeah. um, I was like, okay, you know, like wiping her off. Yeah. And she started screaming, and I'm like, yeah, it's a relief. <laughs> it's almost like those few seconds that they don't breathe, and you're just yeah, it's like uh, very scary. Well, especially like I, we were by ourselves. I was like, this is not the time to be. Take a long time to cry. Yeah, no, like no kidding. Yeah. Just, just do it. <laughs> just, please do it. And yeah. I'm like, you know, maybe. Yeah, in a row. And uh, she finally did cry, and it was, it was the sweetest little cry. Oh, and yeah. you just know that you want to cry. It's just, there's nothing the like best. it. <laughs> so yeah. I sit down. I sat down, and um, this was a lot more intense than my son's in a way that I don't know how to explain it. With Josiah and I, we just had more emotional stuff with this baby. I think that's because it might have been shorter, but it was more involved emotionally. Yeah. And I just had, I had cried a lot with this one. I didn't scream as much. Yeah. But I did yell and yeah. um, I was crying and there was a lot of emotional stuff, but it was a lot shorter. She was... Shorter ones, like, yeah. are like overwhelming in a way that's just, it's more emotional. Yeah. Like with longer ones. Almost like you're too tired to, to think to be care. emotional. Yeah, yeah I feel like <laughs> I totally would agree because I was just so emotional by that time. I was yeah. crying and happy, and I, yeah. I was shaking so bad. Oh my gosh, yeah. So how, long, how long was her labor? It was from start to well. If you include, I don't include the prodromal labor, so eight hours. Oh, that's that's pretty fast. Way better. Yeah. I felt like it was, you know, forever, and I was like, how long? Was it? <laughs> yeah. But she was born at eight. You know, I think it was almost. I think it was eight thirty okay. in the morning, and so she came out when the sun was out. Oh, wow, that's a good so time for a baby to be born. It's springtime, so yeah. beautiful. Yeah. I mean, that's it was awesome. Awesome. Well, how was your postpartum time? With her. with her, it was great. Um, it was way better with Judah's. It was hard. Yeah, um, just a lot more. 
they recover from the yeah. Judas. Well, my body hadn't ever done that before, so yeah. I think it just took more time. Yeah. Um, with her, it was, I don't know, she was 11 days old when we went to the beach. To oh come. gosh, yeah, that's great. Which is a lake that we uh, have around here. Yeah. And um, everybody was looking at me like, how old is she? Yeah. <laughs> 11 days? Yeah. Well, yeah, good. I saw the picture that Facebook was like, man, she's brave. I wouldn't be going anywhere. <laughs> well, I'm... and I mean, like, we didn't let anybody hold the baby. Right. But, like, you know, yeah. I was up and ready, and it was yeah, so hot. hot. Mm. Yeah. And I couldn't, like, get in water yet because I was still um, really? pretty, yeah, I was getting, yeah. like, down there and pretty sore. Yeah. But I was not sore like I was with Judith. Oh, that's good. I actually healed fairly well, and I was to the point where I was hardly bleeding. Oh, well, um, I mean, it did kind of come off and on because right. yeah. yeah I mean it's not gonna be it's not gonna stop till it stops right um but yeah so yeah. and you didn't tear with either one right um I tore with Judah okay right. I had a well let me see if I can remember the actual definition <laughs> of the tear like a second degree it was not second degree <sighs> anyway it was in the vaginal wall Oh, oh. So it wasn't my perineum, I guess, or, you know, all these terms are confusing. You know, there's too many terms, yeah. but it was the vaginal wall and it was a slight tear. Oh, okay, it might have been first degree. I did get stitches, but um, I don't, my doctor, I, I, that's because the doctor who delivered Judah, because um, that's the one I got a tear with, and um, he, or she said that I just might as well stitch me up so mm -hmm. that it's just that much yeah. Quicker to heal in one way, but you also have to be careful when you have stitches because you can rip them. Yeah. <clears throat> Especially in the vagina. <laughs> but, yeah. <that's>... Um, <laughs> but thankfully, it was like a first degree tear. So. Okay, well, that's good. Yeah. That's right. It's called first degree. Yeah. And with Kyla, I think I might have. Ashley, my midwife, said that maybe, but if anything, it's very weird. Yeah. Well, well, thank you so much for sharing both of your home births. I, that was super fun for me to hear and hopefully for the listeners too. Yeah, but I hope so. Make sure you guys go check out her YouTube channel as well. I will link it down below. And thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.